with a game-high 37 points, but Seth stepped up with 16 points off the bench. The two brothers even talked trash to each other at the free throw line in the fourth quarter, but in the end, the Warriors took a 2-0 series lead. Let's take a listen to Steph on playing his little brother. This was like the coolest experience I think I've ever had playing you know, against him. We talked about the stage, and, and he was... He was amazing tonight. For my parents, I know we talked about it the whole series and these last two games. It's probably nerve wracking as, as heck for them, but uh, it worked out perfectly tonight. He played well and we won. All right, Shannon, has Seth been helped or hurt by having Seth? Yeah, but I, think, older brother? I really think it's been a combo. I think he might have gotten to look because if his last name was Williams at six foot tall, I don't really know how much of a look he's going to get. I don't know. But when you look at it, it's like, okay, his dad, dad played in the NBA. His brother played in the NBA. It's got to be some genes in there somewhere. I mean, he got to be able to shoot halfway decent, Skip, even though he's a, l- a little on the smallest side. Yep. But it's been a curse because, like I said, the comparisons start. Yeah, he can do but he ain't Steph. Yeah, he can do but he's not Steph. So, and if Steph was just, okay, a, a good player, no problem. But Steph is an all-time great. Yep. He's a two-time league MVP. He got three. He has three rings. He's won the uh, won an MVP unanimously. So that's the comparison. I think the thing for 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 having gone through this myself is that I always embraced that I had an old brother that was good, and that he never oh, that I, living in this show. You know, I got it all my life, Skip. You're not as good as your brother. You can't run as fast as your brother. You can't. Ooh, you can't do that like Sterling. Okay, fine. You still get called Sterling. <laughs> right? Everybody mm. called me that. Hey, Sterling! Yeah. I say you're loud and wrong. Mm. But, anyway, but so I can under, I can understand, but Seth is, I think he's embraced it. I don't think he's like, man, I'm never gonna be able to be my big brother. I'm never gonna be able to grow up out of his shadow. Because he's not. Never. At least Gip, my brother was a better football player than I was. But it wasn't like he was. Head and shoulders. It wasn't like, you know, nope. he was Walter Payton and, and I'm Eddie Payton. Mm-mm. It wasn't a situation like that. But he was a better player than I was. We both went to a number of Pro Bowls, made all pro a bunch of times. But when you got the gap, like what Steph and Seth is, yep. that's, a, that's, that's a difference. But for them to be able to do this and to have their parents there, because I know, I know what my mom, the nervousness, that she felt when me and my brother played against each other, although we were our teams were playing against each other. Yep. I think it's been a blessing and a curse. Mm. So let's talk about the blessing first. Let's speak real about this. If his last name had been Williams, <laughs> he would have been long gone from this league a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not sure he would have made it past what happened the first go-round, which was his brother's team signed him right. at Duke and then waived him. Right. I'm not sure he could have survived that. Then he would have had to go, God knows where. Overseas. Europe, yeah. China, somewhere. Mm-hmm. And maybe he'd hung on for a couple of years, and that would have been the end of mm-hmm. that. But he kept getting chance after chance after chance, in part because he played at Duke. I'm going to give him that, because he averaged 18 a game and shot 44% from the three-point line. That last year, he was three years at Duke, started at Liberty. But then he starts bouncing. He does two, now we call it G League, G-League. but D League stints, right? Mm-hmm. Santa Cruz and Erie PA, mm-hmm. hard, hard duty, right? <laughs> and then he bounces six times through the NBA. Mm-hmm. Six teams, this is number six, yep. said, five said no to him. Right. Okay? And there's no way he could last this long if he didn't have a two time MVP big brother and a father who was one of the greatest shooters right. who ever played this game. Correct. Right. right? Yes. So it helped him immensely until last night. And all of a sudden, last night, on the biggest stage in the, on the Western Conference side in the game, he had to stand on his own two feet. Right. right? It didn't help him a bit nope. then. He, he felt confident because he would played in the backyard and played growing sure. up with his mm-hmm. big brother. But, but in the end, he has to say, now it's my turn right. to show that, that – even though I got curry blood running through me, I, I got to show you I can do this by myself. Yeah, and he has to, Skip, because I got that a lot. Well, the only reason you got here is because of your brother. I said, okay, maybe people looked at him and said, man, he's a supreme athlete. Maybe his brother can do this. But at the end of the day, Sterling Sharp can't catch any passes mm-hmm. for the Broncos. No. Nope. He couldn't catch any passes for Savannah yeah. State. 
Hmm. Steph Curry can't make one shot that's going to help the Portland Trailblazers for, for Seth. No. So getting there, okay, make, okay, you get the opportunity. It's just like with anything. I fall on my knees every night and pray that Skip Bayless gave me an opportunity, Jen. But at the end of the day, I had to show Skip I could do it. Skip had enough confidence in me. He fought for me right. because I was the first athlete to do this full time. Yeah, they come in and do segments. Normally, they're journalists. Hmm. Everybody's a journalist. Skip's a journalist. Pairing with another journalist because they covered all the sport. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, Shannon can talk about football, but can he talk about something other than football? Mm. So I had to show Skip I could do it. So Skip got my foot in the door. That's interesting. But at the end yeah. of the day, Skip couldn't make an argument for me if I couldn't do the job why I should stay. Yeah. Mm. Steph can't make an argument. Dale can't make an argument for Seth if he can't play. Mm -mm. So it was a blessing and a curse. But now the blessing is he's got that opportunity. What are you going to do with it? Hmm. The curse last night was his two backcourt mates couldn't, couldn't get him home yeah. right? after yeah. he made three shots in the fourth quarter. But let's look at your situation. When you get drafted in the seventh round and yes. you go to Denver mm -hmm. and that camp is packed, I don't know how many free agents were there, 100 or whatever. Well, back then they had cut it down. It was, uh, I think we had, I think we took 80 to camp, 80 okay. or 90, okay. something like that. Okay. So it's hard. Yes. You, you have to rise above this quickly. Yes. And you're going to have to do something in early camp practices mm -hmm. To say, hey, what, you you hear you hear the whispers. That's kind of sharp, bro. Okay, there you oh, go. Yeah. Okay, so you did have to me a decided advantage. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to capitalize on yes. it. Yes, but you had that advantage. Yes, that's, that's Sterling's. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, they are going to give it. you a little longer look yeah. as a seventh rounder. Where some seventh rounders, they'll look at him for two weeks of camp, and they're like, right? Ah, we. Well, Dan said it. Dan said, look. We had scouted his brother. We saw what his brother had done. Mm -hmm. And there has to be something in there. He said when we looked at him, he's like, okay, yeah, he's raw. He put up big numbers, but who did he do it against? Okay. Now, your mindset. You set foot for the first time on a training camp field for the Denver Broncos. In your heart of hearts, back of your mind, you're thinking, my brother does this. Yes. I know my brother. Yes. I lived with I grew up with my brother. If, if he can do what he's doing, yeah. I can do this. Yeah. And a lot of kids don't step on the field with that kind of mm -mm. deep confidence. Right. It's a, like a blood confidence. For me, Skip, every number, like in high school, whatever number yeah. he had, I got. Okay. He was number three, I got number three. He went to college and got yeah. number two, I wore number two. Okay. So I was not running away from who, what, who and what he was because I was fully aware. And he didn't run away from you either. No, Skip. We would go to the state track meet. The state track meet would fall in May. My brother would leave the University of South Carolina and come and says, okay, what are we going to do today? Yeah. Okay, this is what I think we should do. And I'm a three-time state champ. And as you mentioned, yes, Skip, I went to Class A. But in 1986, I was the best triple jumper in the state of Georgia. Really? Regardless of classification. Mm, there, were three, I, there were three people at the No, meeting. no, 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 okay. no. No. And you know what? To the yeah. 30 years, and I still, 30 years plus, I still got that record. No really? Way. Yeah, ain't nobody going to get that. All right. I'm going to have to see some proof Who someday knew? about yeah. this. Uh, we got to move on. Will number two lead the Raptors to an upset win tonight?